custom features on the budget sounds too good to be true, but is it? Let's dive in and find out. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you want to know about the EpoMaker EK68, a 65% pre-built keyboard. Now, some of you might recall the Shadow X from my previous review, and this EK68 looks like it's mini-me, but the big question is, can it deliver similar customization options at a wallet-friendly price? Buckle up, hit that subscribe button, and before we get technical, let's crack open this box and see what's inside. First up, we got the keyboard itself, the usual classic EpoMaker high quality braided USB-C to USB-A cable. Solid choice, but if you're feeling fancy, check out the EpoMaker Max Pro braided cable for a vintage flair. Next, we have a trusty steel keycap and switch puller. Always gonna have these tools handy. Plus, some vibrant yellow PBT keycaps to add a pop color against the sleek dark silver base. Nice touch. Speaking of handy, the quick start guide comes with cheat sheets for RGB customization and function shortcuts. And oh yeah, can't forget the three Budgerigger tactile switches. Excited to dive into those unique keystrokes. Overall, a solid unboxing experience with all the essentials. No crazy surprises, but everything you need to start your EpoMaker adventure. Talking design, it's a compact and clever 65% layout, prioritizing essentials in a smaller footprint. While missing dedicated F keys and numpad, accessible secondary commands remain via the FN key. Cleverly placed arrow keys prevent accidental FN presses, and a dedicated volume knob with mute adds some convenience. I like that. Despite the plastic construction, think premium, not cheap. The case feels surprisingly sturdy. Double kickstand and rubber grips elevate ergonomics while the back-mounted slider switches OS and connection modes. USB-C port and a dongle holder are discreetly tucked away. There's no pass-through options, unfortunately, but I like the battery indicator in that little gap here. My version of the keyboard comes standard with the intriguing Bodgerigar tactile switches. Now, I'm Gatron Pro Brown kind of guy, but I'm always down to try something new. These Bodgerigars are definitely different. The bump hits way sooner than the browns, almost like when you touch the key. Feels kind of like popping a bubble wrap in a silent library. Strange, but oddly satisfying. Speaking of customization, the keyboard comes hot swappable, so if Budgerigas don't tickle your fancy, you can easily swap in some new switches and transform this keyboard into your own personal symphony. So definitely a solid budget option, well built, hot swappable and the unique switches offer a distinct typing experience. Hit me up in the comments below with your thoughts. Have you tried the Budgerigas? What are your favorite budget friendly switch finds? Let's discuss. Sure, this little guy is fully moldable. You could go full Frankenstein and personalize it to your heart's content. I'm more of a keep it clean kind of guy. Stuck with a few tweaks here and there is my sweet spot. The keyboard throws down 19 RGB presets. You can tweak the brightness, speed and direction to make it own personal light show. But the stock keycaps don't let all the RGB glory shine through. They prioritize clear keycaps over the light show. You might dive into the full color spectrum with dedicated shortcuts, easy peasy. And the quick start guide helps you crack the key combination so for RGB enthusiast, the party never ends. The keyboard boasts seamless tri-mode connectivity, which is a golden standard that lets you switch between Bluetooth, wired and 2.4 GHz modes. Plugged in and lag-free, just like your internet after you shout at the router. Perfect for your initial PC setup. Think of this like a wireless superpower. Blazing fast, long-range connection, ideal for gaming or when Bluetooth just won't cut it. Plus, a dedicated dongle for that extra, I mean business, feel. Need to type on your iPad or phone? Bam! Bluetooth to the rescue. Pairing is smooth and it remembers up to three devices so switching between your battle station tablet and phone is a breeze. Plus, if you ever get confused, as we all do, quick FN key combo resets the connection. Easy peasy. So, this keyboard basically adapts to your life. Want a game competitively? Go wireless with the dongle. Need to crank out emails on the go? Bluetooth's your friend. And when the battery's dead, just plug it in, old school style, all without sacrificing performance or convenience. 
talking typing, I'm a lousy typist, and I got used to full layout keyboards, though typing feels pretty smooth with responsive keys and a cloud-like gasket mount. For someone like me, used to low-profile keyboards like Apple Magic keyboards, the key travel here might feel a bit deeper. This leads to more missed presses, especially if your fingers are prone to flying all over the place like mine. Now, the smaller size itself wasn't an issue. I adjusted surprisingly well, even the tiny right shift key didn't bug me after a while, but for someone already used to spacious layout, it might take some extra getting used to. So overall, the typing experience on this thing is undeniably good. The build quality, feel and sound are all top notch. But for butterfingers typists like me who craves low profile keys and clicky feedback, it might be more suited for gaming than everyday typing. Sure, the EK68 doesn't boast fancy software with a hefty footprint like IQ or Synapse, but instead, Ipomaker keeps things refreshingly simple with their lightweight tool. So, remapping keys, designing RGB light shows, and record macros for repetitive tasks, no problem. Advanced users might miss community favorites like VIA and QMK. This is one of the frequent questions many of you ask in the comments to me all the keyboard reviews. Despite lack of VIA and QMK, this intuitive software delivers essential control without the fuss. So while it might not win any software awards, it earns the major points for ease and for convenience. The keyboard packs a 3000 mAh battery, which basically translates to two weeks of wireless freedom. Now, that's based on my usage, like five to seven hours a typing day, so your mileage might vary depending on how trigger happy you are with those keys. Charging takes around 40 minutes, give or take. Not the fastest I've seen, but hey, two weeks of wireless is pretty sweet. Plus, this handy indicator light next to the arrow keys that keeps you in the loop on the battery life and connection status. No more surprise keyboard deaths mid-flow. Basically, the EK68's battery life is solid. It won't win any marathons, but it will definitely keep you typing without scrambling for a cable every other day. Let's get real, for $89 US, this EK68 is sweet. I mean, I still prefer the Shadow X, slightly bigger, sweet OLED display, you know the vibes. But when it comes to overall typing experience, I think the EK68 takes the crown. Budget conscious users, listen up. Under $90 US, I think this thing delivers. Sure, modding might be tricky and the RGB could be brighter, but portability, build quality, surprisingly good stabs, and that blissful typing experience, priceless. I'm not gonna lie, it's not perfect. My Apple Magic keyboard still holds a special place, but for the price, magic, I tell ya. Okay, disclaimer time. EpoMaker hooked us up with this keyboard for free, but trust me, these opinions are straight from my fingertips. No sugar coating, just honest thoughts. Want to snag one yourself? Check the links in the description or scan the QR code popping up right now. It will take you straight to Amazon Keyboard Heaven. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys on the next one.